All right, Kira Tato, and welcome back. Um, as we uh, mentioned today about um, Tua Mata Iyo Aiyo, uh, we're just looking at some ways of uh, discovering the archetypes of your essence, basically. Like the Punga Wede Wede, uh, it has an essence in which it weaves from. Um, it's amazing that, eh, that a spider can weave so much web out of its puku. And um, and design such a beautiful architecture, an, an ecosystem of architecture, in what he calls his tukutuku web. And so I've just um, completed doing a bit of a web myself, uh, weaving from the essence that I've um, carved through my raka, and the essence is coming out of me. So I'm going to point that pointed out uh, just some of the symbols that are starting to come up for me when I watch and play this back. Uh, so that you can see what I'm talking about. So the essence of a spider is he webs a beautiful web. Uh, what I hope to do with you guys uh, over the next, oh geez, it won't take, it'll take a bit of a while, but uh, definitely in the next six months is to try and get you to a place where you can start to carve the essence of your, of your puku and your mana motuhake uh, in the space and time uh, of the atua. That means being present and awake and aware uh, when you're cutting uh, these types of uh, shapes. And to do that, you have to sensitize yourself, not only through noho puku, but also through the symbol itself. And it takes a while to actually get the energy up um, through each of the symbols. So with that, um, let's see how we get on. So I'm just going to push and just review back. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, there you go. So what he's doing now is he's doing what we call nako tokeke. We've got whakamatua, we've got arofanunga. Ah, that was an interesting shape. That one there is called wairua. This one there is called kaha. All of these are correlating to the planets as well. A little bit of uh, two wai wai there just to kind of break it up. Uh, the circles there. Porofita, and this is the the uh, what we call the Ake Ake sign there, the eternity sign, which is Maranga Are Are and the Toroparawai. The Pau, look at that. Yeah, there's some more circles which are very universal. So you're pulling universal energy. This one's more Kuru. This is more the, uh, yeah, that's Taki Fino. They're kind of traditional Puinga forms. That's the Tapa Toru, if you didn't see it. That's the Irakati, that's the dot. In the pai pai or huanui, I'm all here, bucket, and then back you go, and then back into popotahi, which is a guard form. Yeah, let's just hold off on that. So, there are many, 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 many symbols that have been enacted in that whole piece, and again, um, a dominant more masculine uh, ex expression. If I was to slow that down, uh, the same um, resonance and the same frequency, if not better, uh, would be had in performing that taki and that, that pūnga rākau. That pūnga rākau uh, comes from many, many years of developing uh, basic geometric shapes, um, both from our Māori whakairo iro uh, school and also the Western schools as well. Do you know what, what, what school we come from? Are we Western or Eastern? Interesting, eh? We might be Western. Uh, we might be um, Southern. <laughs> the Southern schools. So you've got the Western schools, which are Europe, right up to the Mongols, right down through to uh, Russia and all that. And then, of course, the Germany and England and all those places, France. And then you've got the Eastern schools, which basically come from the, 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 the Asian uh, Farewananga of old, right through to India, uh, and did I say it all the way over to Africa? So, what are we? Hey, what are we? Are we the Southern schools? Well, apparently, we're a, we're a bit of a mix between the Western and the Eastern, which is um, really, really um, interesting. Probably not the place to whine about it here, but you know, just to bring it up. Uh, anyway, long story short, the energies that are invoked within that one pattern there. Uh, end up ends up uh, becoming the energy you live with for the day. So to, or today, I'll be 
I've been um, basically just going hard because those energies are living inside you. They're what we call the 1.68. And the 1.68 comes off the kuru. Uh, if you do the equation uh, in mathematics, you'll know the power of numbers. That number is actually uh, quite real. And it actually um, pushes you every day uh, in, the, in the acts of tumatoinga. Tumatoinga, not in the way of war, but in the way of dynamism, in the way of energy, and in the way that you approach, uh, for example, some sort of focus, a work, a workplace orientated focus, uh, you can use these symbols here to actually help you out. So, what do the symbols mean? And it took us literally years to go through all this, and here I am getting it to you fellows on a platter. <laughs> but hey, the universal, all encompassing dualities are in constant motion. Discipline of cosmic cycles, the relentless aroha love that brings an absolute intelligence in, spiritual and, in the spiritual and physical uh, realms. The eternal understanding and wisdom permeates time, evolving and involving through makakahire of the sacred curve to the mountains, into the whenua, and captured via the whareuana. Interesting, eh? That was, that's, that's what I've been saying in the Sarako. Believe it or not, if you were to translate it literally, uh, onto a piece of paper with words, this is what it would sound like. The challenge is layered and always in love, power, and blessings upon us. So there you go. Those symbols, uh, this is their meaning. And when you put them together, it becomes a, a higher level of consciousness uh, that, that is evoked uh, because of those symbols coming together in such a collaborative way. Um, so here goes a little bit of an insight about what those symbols look like. There you go. Okay. Some of them are universal, meaning that they connect to planetary energies. Uh, some of them are more earthly, meaning that they connect to Papa Tuanuku more so than the celestial uh, environments. For example, a lot of uh, Maori uh, kaupapa in, in Raka and Teha usually links back to Papa Tuanuku or Tangaro or Tane, so they're very earthly. Whereas the celestial aspects uh, can link, link back through what we call Ainga Aurangi. And um, as I mentioned before, I've had many teachers and a uh, particular prophet of mine taught us uh, the, the celestial energies that come from the stars and the actual symbols uh, that uh, that energy actually turns into when it's manifested on the, on the planet. So a little bit of a corridor there just to get you going. We're going to be using nature at our, at our wānanga uh, to springboard the supernature. Uh, and, and that is always an interesting journey because our tūpuna, uh, we're absolute masters of it. And we uh, we got two channels. we got the natural channel through our Māori culture, and we've got a universal channel which comes through states of meditation, which is very universal. It's not a, an Eastern thing at all. It's a Western, Eastern, Northern, Southern uh, understanding that meditation or nohopuku has always been a doorway to those, um, to those fourth dimension, fifth dimensional um, realities in which we're about to um, take a little bit of a hold on. So with that, uh, we're lucky here in Aotearoa. One, we've got a beautiful culture that still, is still very much intact in regards to its cosmology, uh, its cosmic alignment. Uh, we've also got a beautiful country in regards to the people uh, that are here. Uh, we are a young country uh, relative to the rest of the world. Our culture or people here, mana whenua, have been here for 1,000, maybe 2,000 years. Uh, but in the big scheme of the Polynesian Islands, 45,000 years. Uh, but this country only really uh, has had so, sort of the impacts of people uh, in the last thousand years. So it makes it very young. So anyone that's in, uh, incarnated here or anyone that comes over on a plane or anyone that's uh, directly pulled in by, the, by, by, by what we see in Aotearoa and what we feel in Aotearoa and it becomes their home is because it is their destiny to be here uh, in this young country to start a new energy. And so, you know, there's a lot, lot to take out of this corridor. Um, I'm not going to go any further. I think that's enough for us. My, the whole intent was to load you up 
get you a big cup of coffee so you can drink all night and uh, you can enjoy uh, the sweetness and the wānanga that can come out of it. So um just like to uh, thank all the people that have, I mean, this this site's only been up a couple of days and already we've had people on board, which is which is great. Just to let you know, I'll put it on YouTube as well, the, the timing is right. Uh, the people around the world, the people in Aotearoa uh, are ready uh, to take a next step into understanding uh, this invisible knowledge that we're talking about, hidden knowledge. But in saying that, uh, we're just going to reveal a little bit, see if uh, the mass consciousness is ready to actually take it on and uh, start to evolve the way that we need to. Uh, but that's us for now. Ngā mihira kia tātou, ngā pia, ngā taura, ngā tauira, o tua mata ai o. Ngā mihira kia tātou katoa, kia kahara tātou, mahi a te mahi, hei painga, mō te iwi, hei painga, mō te tāngata, hei painga, mō papa tuanuku, rāwako ranginui, me te tai au whanui, tēnā tātou katoa, mauri ora. <laughs>